guys, welcome back. In my last videos, I erroneously thought I had figured out this hopper issue, and I had figured out that you can fix these uh, hoppers in the sorting machines that are not uh, sorting properly by breaking and reinstalling them to get them to work. But as uh, Seth Pling pointed out, once you exit and reload the game, or exit the chunk and it re gets reloaded, the hoppers go back to their default state. So, um, which is sort of a good thing. If I put items in through here and they flow through, you notice that uh, we have several comparators that are on and several that are off. If I was to break and reinstall all these hoppers, like I showed you in the last video, we will get different behavior if I send items through now. It's uh, a lot of blinking going on. But um, what will happen if I save and reload the game? Let that clear out. I'll save and reload. Alright, so saved and reloaded. Let's throw some items in there again. You notice we have exactly the same setup as we had before. So that is good in that at least it's consistent when you uh, load and unload the chunk. It will uh, the same hoppers will be working, and the same ones will be broken. So that we can work with, I think. Now I've scaled it up a little bit here. Let's see what happens when we uh, have a huge run. You can see there's a pattern emerging. Every uh, we've got three empty, and then every other one, and then three empty again. This is the only anomaly I've noticed. Every once in a while I'll get this blinker. And uh, sometimes when I load and reload, that one's off, and sometimes it's blinking, so that's kind of a strange anomaly. Let's look at if we move the hoppers over a few blocks and see how the, the uh, pattern changes. You can see by the, the wool there what's going to happen. but uh, I've saved and reloaded this world several times and we get the same behavior each time. This row here is a little bit more dense as far as working hoppers. Very consistent. And let's go ahead and do these just for fun. Alright, so th there you go. Um, there is a pattern to it. I'm not sure exactly what that pattern is as far as how to calculate it. Um, perhaps somebody smarter than I can do that. But you can see that there are areas that there is more density of working hoppers than not. So if you were somehow able to figure out where that is and build your item sorting machine like right here on this line, you'd have a much better success rate. But this seems kind of impractical. So um, I think in the next video I'm going to try to attempt to build a uh, always working uh, unbreakable chunk reloading type of uh, sorting machine. And I have a feeling it's not going to be uh, a solid block of hoppers, but we're going to have some gaps in between but at least it will be working all the time. So I'll give that a shot, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you.